Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more concept in our SQL hacking that is social engineering attacks. So social engineering. attacks so these are the attacks that will be performed due to the human error or uh, a, a wide range of some human interactions right so attacks done through human interaction So previously we have seen uh, different types of attacks where the attacker will take the control of the uh, victim system so that the, the attacker will gain all the information from the victim system. But here the attacker will not take the control of a victim system. The victim itself will provide his or her data to the attacker. So that means some sort of psychological manipulations will be done on the users to get the information from them itself, right? So psychological manipulations will be done on a victim to collect information. So that means these type of attacks will be done because of the human errors. Okay. These attacks done due to human errors. And here the most important thing is attacker will not take any control from the victim but victim him, himself or herself will give the information to the attacker. So in such a way the psychological manipulations will be done by the attacker. So information will be revealed by the victim. So victim will reveal the information to the attacker. Right? So these type of attacks where the victim reveals the information to the attacker that is called as a social engineering attacks. So now we will see the life cycle of this social engineering attacks. So these type of attacks will be done in a four stages. The life cycle of this social engineering attack consists of life cycle of social engineering attack. So here the first stage is a investigate investigate so in this phase the attacker will gather much more information about the victim so here the first step is the attacker will select the victim so attacker will select the victim so after that, the attacker will gather much more information, gather much more information about a victim, right? After selecting the victim, it, uh, the uh, attacker will gather much more information about the victim and then identify the weakness of this particular user okay identifies 
weakness of a victim <coughs> right identifies the weakness of a victim then so this ends the first phase that means the investigate phase so complete investigation about the victim will be done in this particular investigate phase and the second one the phase called as a hook hook phase so in this hook phase so once in the investigation once the attacker identifies the weakness of a victim now the attacker will start manipulating the victim so the the attacker will give a lot of fake stories to the victim so that the some trustworthiness will be established between the attacker and the victim so once the trustworthiness is established automatically the victim will share the information to the attacker so in such a way the manipulations will be done and all these things will be done in this hook stage that means the attacker plays a fake story starts manipulating establishing trustworthiness this is most important trustworthiness so once this trustworthiness established between the attacker and the victim automatically the victim will be revealing all the information right so this is most important this is a hook state so once the complete uh, this trustworthiness is established now it will go with the third phase the third phase is play third phase is play so here the attacker will start gathering the information start gathering victim sensitive information right so the attacker will in the second stage so some sort of trust will be established between the uh, attacker and the victim so with that help so this attacker will start gathering the victim uh, sensitive information so it executes some types of attack executes the attack on a victim to gather the information so this happens in the third phase okay third phase and the last one after gathering the information what happens simply the fourth one which is a exit phase exit phase so in this exit phase attacker ends up with ends up the conversation with victim ends up the conversation with victim and also clears all the tracks that means in which way the attacker uh communicated with the victim and in which way the attacker takes the information from the victim all those complete paths will be get close so clearing all the tracks through which the attacker manipulates the victim so with this phase the attack will be completed so in our real world so there is a one example happens in our real world that means uh Uh, we are we are using a lot of uh, applications in our mobile so in that uh, most commonly we are searching most of the people were searching for the loan applications so there are a lot of applications so first they will start telling a fake stories that means uh, may, maybe uh, within one uh, one hour within a two hours we'll give the money right so that is our weakness we want a money very urgent so that is our weakness they'll identify our weakness so they'll play with the uh, an android app so 
there we are we will start giving our information our sense to information right so we want to give our sense to information so that they will give some uh, loan amounts right so nowadays this happens right so such type of attacks so that the, the apps may be a genuine or uh, maybe it's a fake i don't know but most of the people were getting trapped with this particular social engineering attacks right so we should be very careful about this thing because these attacks particularly done due to the human errors that means we are only providing the information to the attacker right so we should be very careful so we should not disclose our information to any other third persons right so this is the life cycle of social engineering attacks the first phase investigate second phase uh, hook third phase a play fourth phase is exit and this is done due to the human errors so the attacker will do the psychological manipulations on the users so that the user will himself or herself will provide the information to the attacker right so hope you understood this uh, social engineering attack what is a social engineering attack and uh, uh, what is the life cycle of social engineering attacks so we'll stop here in our next session we'll go with the different types of software so, i mean social engineering attacks so there will be a technology based attacks there will be a human based attacks so some sort of technology will be used but that technology will be used only to get the information from the victim itself not to take the control of the victim system right so some sort of technology will be used some sort of uh, human error uh, human based uh, attacks will be there so all these things will cover in our uh, further sessions right and one more thing very important so this is only for the educational purpose please don't try all these ethical hacking course for your personal revenge right so the name itself indicates it's an ethical hacking so just for understanding just to gain the knowledge so you learn this course but don't use in a negative way right so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much